AD, everyone knew coming into this series, when you look at the Warriors lineup, that you could be a, a featured part of the Lakers' attack. What do you think allowed you to be so effective uh, tonight? Um, the guys gave me the ball, and uh, the guys just getting the ball um, to me in the right right spots. Uh, a lot of it came off pick and roll, a couple post ups, uh, some offensive rebounds, but uh, you know, just being aggressive when I do catch, looking to score or looking to you know play make to other guys. Uh, but it was, a, you know, the guards, you know, finding me early, which allowed them, you know, to, to play free later on in the game. LeBron, um, this team has been through challenges throughout the course of the season, <coughs> continuity, ups and downs, all sorts of different stuff. Um, what did you think of the mental resolve to withstand a 14-0 run in this building late and, and to close those guys out with, with poise? Uh, I mean, that's been us since we um, – <coughs> You know, since we you know, made the um, acquisitions to our new guys, we've been able to be uh, very resilient in games. Um, um, like I said, we've been playing playoff basketball uh, for about two and a half months now, just trying to you know punch our clock in to be able to play right now in the postseason. So um, you know we've been very resilient tonight versus um, versus a team like Golden State. Um, you know, defending champions, and we know how great they are on their home floor over the years. So. Um, to withstand that, and uh, you know, it's, it's, it's another uh, good step for our for our, for our ball club. Anthony, just uh, kind of thinking about game two and adjustments that Golden State might make. Uh, they they had Looney on you for most of the game. Draymond kind of took over late. Uh, what what are the the ways that you think that changes once they go maybe a little smaller or Draymond plays a more five? And, and what do you expect from them in their building in game two? Um, well, it's going to be a different game. Obviously, they're going to make adjustments. We're going to make adjustments. Um, the building will be a little bit, probably a little bit louder. You know, um, I always, obviously don't want to go down 0-2, um, so the crowd's gonna be more into it. But uh, we're gonna continue to, you know, I'm, well, I'm gonna continue to be aggressive. Um, I know our guys gonna continue to be aggressive. Obviously, we know that Draymond, you know, likes to help. Um, so we we'll probably, if he, they do decide to put him on me, um, figure out ways I can be effective. You know, with him doing this thing defensively. But um, who knows? I mean, we'll. We'll see what happens in game two, um, if they make that adjustment, if they don't. And still trying to find ways to attack. What would you guys make of the, the defensive game plan tonight and just your ability to wall off the paint? And you know, Obviously, they, they take 53 threes, but it uh, felt like you guys kind of were, were controlling them defensively. Um, we got to do a better job. Um, you know, I think, um, you know, even though um, late, um, you know, they made a run, and I think throughout the second half, you know, just only giving up 48 points, that's that's really good, you know. But um, we had a couple of laws where we allowed those guys, um, you know, Steph, Clay, and Jordan, to get some looks that if we're really tuned in, um, it, it won't happen uh, because they're going to get their they're, they're going to get their looks anyways. So um, we can't have um, you know our own personal problem mistakes. So uh, we got to be better. Uh, we got to be better. We love the game plan, but we got to be better as the guys on the floor. Yeah, AD, as much as you've, over here, AD, as much as you've dominated in the postseason, do you feel like you're proving people wrong, or does that matter to you? Uh, it doesn't matter to me. I don't care what no one thinks. Uh, only, you know, the guys in the locker room, coaching staff, uh, it's only the opinions that I care about. Um, other than that, I just go out and play basketball, try to do what I can do to help the team win. Opinions outside the locker room, uh, what guys say, guys think, you know, is, is irrelevant to me. Uh, Coach Ham said that both of you guys have kind of been a rock for him and kept him uh, afloat mentally in a lot of ways. Um, what kind of advice have you had for Coach, and, and what do you think about how he's grown uh, this rookie season for him as a head coach? Um, you know, for us, you know, you know, we've been a part of this franchise, you know, uh, the longest that's on this franchise right now, um, and we've had our battles. Um, together, so you know, for um, us to be able to, you know, have that relationship with the coach staff and have that relationship with Coach Ham, you know, and him to be able to trust us on the floor that we can be an extension of him, you know, to relay his commands, relay his messages. Uh, I just think um, it just makes it a lot calming for him um, that he knows that he has guys on the floor that has been in a fight, has been in a foxhole, and has had experience, you know, in in, in tough games, you know. So, um, you know. Um, Every game and every day is a 
It's another learning experience for our coaching staff and for us. And, uh, you know, we just try to, you know, make it as seamless as possible when we step on the floor with the game plan that they're giving us. Le LeBron, I, I'm sure you guys knew they were probably going to make some shots and make a run towards the end. Uh, when you guys were not able to score and they did catch you, was that a lack of execution on your part, or did you guys just simply miss, miss some shots? Um, no, never a lack of execution with us. Um, um, you know, at the end of the day, I mean, we only had eight turnovers, so that let us know we was not sloppy with the ball. Uh, we were executing at a high level. We just missed some shots. Um, you know, I can think about four or five shots. Uh, AR had a, uh, a shot from the left wing, uh, missed it. Um, you know, I had a, a fadeaway, you know, jumper in the paint, missed it. Um, I was able to hit AD on the cut. Uh, one of his patent jump hooks, he missed it, got the offensive rebound, missed it again. And then they lost it around their, their sideline, gave us another extra possession. D'Lo had a wide open uh, three opposite of their bench. Sometimes it's a make or miss league. We executed to perfection, we just didn't make. LeBron, I know both of you guys aren't too statistically inclined at this time of the year. It's just about getting the W. Um, but you had the 2020 last round. AD is 30-20 tonight, and he joins Shaq, Elgin, Kareem, uh, and Wilt, uh, and franchise players who have done that, wearing the purple and gold. Just what, what is that? How does that encapsulate like him joining a list like that? Um, what he's doing for your guys' team right now? Um, I mean, the Lakers franchise over the years, over the course of their uh, existence, has always had dominant um, big men. Dominant guys that have been a force at the rim, and um, you know that's why that's why their jerseys are in the rafters. Um, and AD will be up there when he's done playing, and and uh, you know the number three will be up in the rafters. And uh, he continues to show uh, why um, he's one of the best players that we have in this league. And um, you know, and for us, it's it's just a treat for us to be able to have such a dynamic player that can, you know, not not only go out and get you 30 and 20, but also you know, command the paint defensively, can switch out the guards, um, and also you know, give you five assists for the Laker Nation and treat for the franchise to be able to have um, you know, another one you know, in their franchise that, that wears the purple and gold. Um, <clears throat> that's in the present right now. Hey, LeBron. Oh, <laughs> here. I'll take my watch uh, next week. <laughs> Uh, or a car. <laughs> <laughs> um, you have had a lot of great historical games against Warriors in the old uh, Oracle Stadium. How do you feel to win your first post, uh, you know, playoff game in the new Chase Center, you know, as a Laker? Um, well, it's always great to win in the postseason, um, no matter where you are, uh, no matter who you're playing, because it's just it's very difficult to win in the postseason. So, um, you know, like I said, you know, like you said, I got a lot of history. Um, in Oracle and, uh, you know, a lot of battles in that, you know, in that arena over the years. So um, it's definitely a different feeling walking in here into a postseason game, being in the Chase Arena now, like you said. But um, that, that Warriors and that GS and the, that uh, those colors never that hasn't changed. And uh, so my, my focus and my, my respect for them hasn't changed as well. And, um, you know, it's, it's just an honor to be able to play this game at a high level play with other great players, and then also look on the other side and see other great players, um, you know, uh, and you be a part of something that's historic, uh, something that will last uh, a lot longer than, than we are today. So um, you know, it's pretty cool. Thank you. <laughs>